Hello and welcome to another one of my declutter series. I don't even know what episode this is going to be, but we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Today we are covering liquid lipsticks. Yes, these are all liquid lipsticks. I have way too many. I do love liquid lipsticks. I know a lot of people don't like them. I love them. I love that the fact that they lo they're long lasting, they don't have to reapply, but I do like ones that are comfortable. So there are definite ones that I have just favorite formulas. There's some that I do not like, and there's some that are in between, but I have over 70. And again, this is just liquid lipsticks. I really need to declutter a lot of my lip products. I just did the lip liners and this is the first of the lip products that I'm doing. So I am splitting them up with liquid lipstick, lip bullets and lip glosses. I probably will do lip stains and lip oils in separate categories as well. I find it helpful that if you prefer a certain formula, then you can just watch that video and, and watch these as kind of speed reviews. Uh, I am putting timestamps below. I am going to try and go mainly by brand and that will be linked below. Below. I do, there are some um, like these ones in the middle where I only have one from each brand. So I'll talk about each of those, but uh, we will go ahead and just get started. Okay, and as I mentioned, some of these are going to be easy and uh, I am going to swatch some, but I'm not gonna swatch every single one, especially if it's already discontinued, I'm not going to uh, swatch it. So the first ones I'm going to do are these from Kat Von D. Yes, these are from Kat Von D. This, when I purchased them, it was already KVD Beauty, but this was the old packaging. They have since, I believe, reformulated. Only one of these shades is still available, which is Lolita, which I believe is this one and it is a different name now. They changed the names. I, I only know this because uh, it was like that during the 21 Days of Beauty sale. Great formula. Um, I haven't tried the new formula, but I did enjoy these. The colors were not my favorite. Um, they were more probably more edgy than I am, but they did really last well. I'm not gonna swatch them. I'm just decluttering them because they're discontinued and honestly, I don't reach for them anymore anyway. Another two I know I'm decluttering are these two from Armani Beauty. These are the Lip Maestro. This is shade 100. This is shade 523. I got these a while back. Uh, I believe they were like a free gift with purchase or maybe a discount. I don't remember. I got it when I got the either concealer or the foundation. These shades are discontinued, so I'm not going to go ahead and swatch them. To be honest, I thought the formula was okay, and at $45, that's what these cost. This formula is still available, but these shades are not. So I am going to go ahead and declutter them because I never reach for them anyway, and honestly, I don't really recommend this, this formula. Okay, and now let's look at some that I know I'm keeping. These are the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Blur. I think it's what it's called. I have all eight shades. I did receive these in PR, I think. I can't remember, but I think I received these in PR. I might have purchased them myself. I, I haven't gotten PR from them in a while, probably because I was honest in some reviews and um, I, haven't gotten re I haven't gotten PR lately, but I still love the brand. I do love these. These are all four, there's the four lighter shades I really love and I wear a lot. I already have, I believe this is Pillow Talk um, or this is Pillow Talk Medium. This is Pillow Talk uh, Blur. I wear Pillow Talk Blur a lot. I've already purchased a replacement and I have it. I purchased it during the last sale. These shades, the Ruby one, I really like as well. These two shades are probably the, the shades I, I'm barely gonna wear and maybe this one as well but I am gonna keep them because I do love the formula and if I ever want a red or kind of play and mix, I, I will have this on hand. I do like this red for a red, it's just not my favorite. This one, which is, I guess it's flame, is probably my least favorite. I may declutter it at some point, but right now I'm gonna keep it. I am keeping all eight, I love it. I do highly recommend them, they're super comfortable. When I go to Disney World, this is what I take and this is what I wear because I can go hours and not have to reapply. Now looking on the outside here, these are from Ofra. These are the long lasting liquid lipsticks. I have the shades Sao Paulo, Baroque, and Aruba. I don't think these are available anymore. Maybe one or two of them are. Honestly, I didn't really like these. I barely use them. They are probably long expired. I believe these are discontinued as well. So I am going to declutter all three but I really wasn't a fan of the formula as well. Again, I think when I first got on YouTube, everybody was talking about Ofra, Ofra this, Ofra that, Ofra this, and I felt like I needed to get some stuff from Ofra, and honestly, 
I wasn't really impressed. So I haven't purchased anything from Ofra lately and uh, I am going to declutter all three. Now these two are new to me. These are from Sephora. This is their new liquid um, lipstick formula called Soft Matte and Easy. I did do a video on um, a bunch of makeup from Sephora and these were included. These are fantastic. One, I love the size. So if you kind of compare the size to like the Charlotte Tilbury, it's a lot smaller. So it's great to put in your purse, great to have in your go, or even in a pocket. Very, very good. These two shades are great. I have shades one and four. Really, really great formula. And the one thing I like about these is that it's a very, very like sheer formula. So this is one. So you can kind of see how it shears out. So it goes on and it very, um, and it it is buildable. And this is shade four. So you can layer it so you can make it a little bit darker or a little bit deeper or you could just add um you know just a little bit so i do uh, apply it once you get it on your lips like now it looks a little splotchy but when you get on your lips you can just um you know blur it with your fingers or use a brush and it's not going to be patchy but really nice i like both of these shades this is one in four these are not expensive and if you get them during the sephora sale they're 30 percent off i highly recommend these Okay, and now we're gonna move over to these from Give Beauty. I did a whole video on these from Give Beauty. I will link it in um, up at the top and at the description box below. I'm gonna link any videos that I did on any of these liquid lipsticks. I think there's only a few, but I will put uh, links in the description box and then also at the top. Um, these I really like. I really, really like the formula of Give. I'm a big fan of Give Beauty. The shades are not for me. So these four shades right now, I can tell you are being um, decluttered because they're all like four different shades of red. They're very nice, but I'm just not a red person. There's one that I absolutely hate. I hate space buns. Space buns I did not like, and um, it's just not for me. But these are, they're pretty. I think Tartan was the one that I kind of liked. So I may revisit that one after, but I'm pretty sure I am going to declutter all four of these because I just don't wear them. I don't wear red lipstick. I'm keeping the red from Charlotte Tilbury, and I have not worn any of these since I did that video. So definitely decluttering all of these. The one my favorite is Tomboy. So Tomboy is my by far absolute favorite. Uh, I'm going to put Tomboy here. So Tomboy is by far my absolute favorite. I love it. These also smell like vanilla. So I'm definitely keeping Tomboy. Absolutely love it. Then I have um, Flannel. Flannel is, I don't know. I, I just don't like it. Um, I, I don't hate it but I just don't like it on me. I think it's a pretty color. It's just a little too dark, I think, for me. I can make it work, but with my collection as it is, I don't need to keep something to make it work, so I am going to declutter this one. And then I have Cowgirl, and Cowgirl I, I like. I do really like it. I don't wear it as much, but then as I was kind of swatching everything, it's very similar to the Sephora one, and this one I can sheer out easier. So. I think I am going to declutter this one as well. And then you have camo. And camo is a good one to have because it's kind of like this nude that if you wanted to highlight or mix with a shade to make it a you know lighter, it's a good to have. Um, I just never use it like that. So I'm gonna put this one in the maybe pile to see what else I have. But right now, the only one I am going to keep is Tomboy because honestly, that's the only one I use. Um, I do love the look of this packaging, but it's really bulky. So that's the only thing I, like if I'm gonna take this or compared to, you know, the uh, Sephora one, I'm gonna take the Sephora one. It's just easier to pack. Um, but this is obviously prettier, but um, it is it is bulky. So I am definitely keeping Tomboy. I'm putting camo in my maybe bin, and then I'm going to declutter the rest. Okay, if you watch my lip liner video, you will have seen that I, I got these um, about face. I got the matching lip liners with these. These are the painted lip color um, in matte. I have four, and the reason why I'm gonna start here is because this one kind of looks like camo. So I can't see what this says. I will look in a second, but I wanted to swatch this one next to camo because it's kind of giving me the same vibes as camo. 
And yes, and I'm definitely keeping all of these. I just got these. Again, these are much more compact as far as packaging. I'm not sure if I love this shade and I probably may declutter it at some point, but I am gonna keep these all four because I just got these. Plus, as far as if you look at the comparison of the packaging, it's just so much smaller and so much easier to, to, to carry around. So I am going to declutter camo um, because this shade, and I'm gonna look in a second, is very, it's not close, but it's similar enough. Okay, and this is shade Sad Song, so I am keeping Sad Song. And then this one also is Slumber. This one also seems to be very nude. I purchased these online, so this is actually probably closer to camo or between the two of these. But again, these look like they can be sheared out a little bit more. So I am keeping um, Slumber. Again, I'm all keeping all four. I'm just kind of swatching them. Um, I, this is the first time I've even swatching them, to be honest. Uh, this one is Not Your Baby, so we'll swatch that one. So this one's kind of dark. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this one, but it's a little dark. But again, keeping all of these. And then the last one, I believe, is Baby's Arms. So I do have the, the matching lip liners for all four of these. Now this one's pinkier as well. So I definitely got a mixture for those four. So these are the four from About Face. I've heard good things about this formula. I have not tried it, so I might hate it. But uh, right now, that's I am gonna keep all four. Okay, next we're gonna go to these four that I know I am going to declutter, but that is only because they are expired. And these are from L'Oreal. They are called the L'Oreal Parish Rouge Signature Lightweight and High Pigment Matte Lipstick. These are excellent. I got these um, probably at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, right when you started having to wear a mask. I wanted to still wear lipstick when we were going out. And I remember I got them in the summer of 2020. So they are expired. I use these a lot. I had a lot of people contact me and you know, like what lipstick are you wearing when I did show my, my face and these are great. I definitely, there's a couple that I like more than others. So we'll go ahead and swatch all four. So this first one right here is 414 and it's um, eye rule. So as you can see, they're very thin. They're very much like the Sephora one. So very thin and they also last. So they're very comfortable. They don't dry out your lip. They're just fantastic. So that is eye rule. Next up is 416 I create. I think this is my favorite one. Pretty sure this was. And I think this is the one that I got the most compliments on. I might eventually repurchase this one in the, in, in the future. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous shade goes on easily. You know, I wish they weren't expired and they've been sitting at the bottom of my drawer because I forgot I had them. They're just excellent. And this one is 418 Eye Empower. Again, this one is lighter, so it's a really pretty shade, just gorgeous. And then this one is 428. I think this is the one I liked the least. This is 428 Eye Explore. Probably a little too brown for my taste, but the middle two, 416 and 418 were my favorite. But again, I think this is an excellent formula. It is lightweight, it lasts, it's just excellent. Now before we continue, I did wanna show that this is when I took off the swatches from before. This is the two swatches from the Sephora. It also stains your lips. So you can see it kind of stained my arm and I was using makeup remover. So uh, that's a real, I like that about a lip product when it you know it comes off, it does leave a stain. Not necessarily on my arm, but on my lips, I like it. So just, I think that's another thing, good thing about those Sephora lipsticks. Now moving on to these two from ColourPop. These are, one is from the Lucky Penny collection. This is the Penny Pitcher. And then this other one is from the Disney collection. This is Flynn. I am going to declutter both of these. Honestly, I forgot I had this one. This one, um, it's okay. I'm not a, I'm not the biggest ColourPop fan. I mean, it's nice decluttering it because I don't even know if it's on sale anymore. If it is, I, I just, and I just don't, I don't wear ColourPop much anymore um, because I'm not on their PR list. If I order anything, it takes like two to three weeks to get to me, so it's it's not it's pointless to cover anything on my channel. And honestly, there's just other things that I like more. So uh, I do have a few things that I really like from ColourPop. I'm not saying anything against the brand, but I just don't really cover them on my channel anymore. So I think this is pretty. It's a pretty color. The formula is good. It, you know, it, at, I think it's you know if you can get it on sale, not at full price, but I get it on sale. So that's fine, but I'm gonna declutter that one. And this one I purchased simply because of the name, because it was Flynn. Um, my son's name is Ryder, so 
Uh, you know, he's kind of, we did not name him after the character, but uh, the character Flynn Rider, but I kind of wanted it, but the shade's not me, so I am going to declutter this one. So I'm gonna declutter both from ColourPop. Okay, and these next three are from LYS. This came in a little kit. They aren't selling these yet um, individually. I'm hoping that they will start sometime this year. This was a set. The set was $29. I do have a promo code with LYS Beauty. Um, right now it is LYS January 24. Anytime, so if you watch this and it's March in 2024, my code will likely be LYS March 24. I have to change it every 30 days. That's how they work. But this was $29. I It's a limited edition. This set, I mean, first of all, the formula is fantastic. I absolutely love it. I really love these first two shades and I actually love this middle shade more. This one, I am going to keep all three because I just, I like this. I like the formula. So um, I think when they come out with new shades, I, I may declutter it at that point, but um, let me go ahead and swatch all three real quick. Okay, this is the first shade, Honest. So you can see it's, again, it's a very sheer formula, very, very comfortable. Doesn't leave your lips dry, but that's Honest. Obviously, I, I definitely have a shade that I like. This is the second shade. This is Poetic. So I, I remember really liking this one um, when I first tried it and almost surprised how much I liked it. And I think that's because it's it shears out so you can kind of get the level that you want, but that is poetic. And this last one is not me at all. This is admired, but I am gonna keep it for now. I'll probably eventually declutter it, but I am gonna keep, keep it for now, you know, just to have it on hand for the formula, but definitely not a shade that I, I see myself wearing much, but you know, hey, maybe I will. Okay, next I'm gonna move to these um, two from one size. These are the Lip Snatcher. This is Trade Finder and I think it's Jolipus. I did talk about these during the lip liner declutter. These are a liquid lipstick and a gloss combined. I love these. They are bulky. Um, obviously, one of the L'Oreal ones does stain as well, so I'm gonna put this next to it. So um, this shade is not necessarily my favorite. However, it does have the gloss and they goes with it. And then I do have the two coordinating lip liners. So this is the gloss that goes on top because it kind of does go, you don't have to wear the gloss, but it's meant to kind of be paired together and on. It's just absolutely stunning. So this is Trade Finder. And again, this is like Joe Lapus or something. I can't remember. It's just a weird name. So here is this one. Now this one I think is my favorite of the two that I have, but I highly recommend these if you find these on sale or even if you just try them in Sephora. They're just, they're so great to have on hand in your purse because you have everything in one. Um, I love that it kind of coordinates. And then they have a list online on his website of shows which liner goes with each of these. It's just fantastic. So even though they're bulky, I am keeping them because it's bulky, but you're getting two products in one. Okay, moving on to these three from uh, Sigma Beauty. So I have this one here. This is the from the New Mod collection. So this is New Mod. Um, I really like this shade. Again, their formula is also very comfortable. I am an affiliate with Sigma Beauty. It is just Shannon, so you can save, I believe, 10% if you use my code. Um, and I appreciate it when you do because it helps my channel so much. So this is from the Cinderella. Now the Cinderella also has a coordinating lip gloss that I will go over during the lip gloss um, declutter. I am keeping both of these. I like both of these, so I'm keeping both of those. And then I have this one. I can't really see the shade. This one I got like as an assist sample. It's just not one I'm going to wear. And even though it's tiny, it's a mini, I'm not going to wear that. I have an, I have this in other shades if I want it. So I am going to declutter this one. Okay. Now we're going to move on to these three from Maybelline. Um, honestly, I'm not a big fan of these. This is the Superstay Matte Ink. I, these are fairly new to me. Um, and I don't think I've worn, um, I don't think I've worn this one. Um, I tried it and I just didn't want the shade. I think this one was sent to me and I I just didn't really care for the shade and also the formula is not mine. And this is the shade 430 Mediator. So I am going to declutter that one. It's kind of, it's pretty. It's just, I have other ones similar that I like more. And then I have these two, these are the vinyl um, ink and they are, these I just feel like they leave your 
lips kind of dry. Um, these kind of went viral on TikTok, I think, and um, everybody was raving about them, but I just kind of found them dry and I have other formulas that I like. They're 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 okay at the drugstore, but with my collection, I don't need them. And I honestly, I think the I would recommend the L'Oreal over these. So just a reference, the shades that I have are 15 Peachy and 35 Cheeky. They're okay, um, they're not bad, but they're not my favorite, so I'm going to declutter all three. Okay, next we have these two minis from the Anastasia collection. So I have Crush and Ashton. I like these, they are a little drying, um, but I do like the shades and they are minis so I am going to keep these and they're not bad they're not too drying but they are actually this one I'm gonna declutter this one this one's a little too dark so I'm gonna keep crush but I am gonna declutter Ashton I think Ashton's a little dark for me I'm not gonna wear that so I am gonna keep crush and get rid of um, Ashton Okay, the last brand that I have multiples of is Huda Beauty. Um, I have four in the liquid matte and then one in the demi matte. The demi matte has since been um, discontinued. So this is feminist. This was my favorite one of all. Um, and they've since discontinued the formula. So I am going to declutter this one. Um, it's unfortunate I liked the shade. This was feminist. And I liked the formula of Demi Mad, but I guess I was alone because it is now discontinued. So I will declutter that one. I do also have this red one, which is um, alluring. This is now the next four are the liquid matte. This was, this one I'm definitely, I mean, this is like an orange. I don't even know how, why I got this one. I probably must have gotten this like in a, in a subscription box because there's no way I would have picked that shade. Definitely decluttering that one. And then I have these three minis. These came with these little sets. They were the liquid matte and then the gloss um, and these sets. I, I actually really like them because the size. So I am maybe keeping one. Um, so this is Muse. I think this was my least favorite. So that's Muse. Yeah, it's kind of like a purpley mauve. Not my favorite. Didn't really look. Okay, so my camera overheated so I don't know where it stopped. Um, but uh, I am going to declutter the Demi matte because it's discontinued this orange because I don't know why I have that shade and of the three minis This is muse bombshell and trendsetter I'm only going to keep bombshell because that's really the only one I reach for and the other two I am going to declutter. It's a great formula I really like them in these minis. So if you can get them if they ever sell those sets again I think it's great because her glosses are amazing, but um, it's a it's a good formula and the rest of these are individual ones, so I'm just gonna rearrange them. Okay, so as you can see here, I have, uh, I think it's 15 uh, individual ones that I, I only have one from each brand. So I'm gonna kinda go through, and uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. So this one from City Lips, um, is a matte formula. I really like this. this. This was their plumping lip cream. It was pretty much a liquid lip. Um, this was in the shade Pink Taupe. I love this. Unfortunately, they just discontinued the formula. Um, I'm going to put this in the declutter pile because I am probably gonna just declutter it. Use it up maybe a little bit more, but I will be decluttering it um, in the near future. So I am decluttering it. Uh, it's a great formula. I'm just sad that they have discontinued it. Uh, I'm not even gonna swatch it because it's gone. Um, then we have this one from Floresis, I think it is. This is, uh, I can't even see, it's M306. I did a video for them not too long ago, I think in early 2023. This was a good formula. It's a good formula. I like it and it was very, very comfortable. However, I just never reach for it. It's just, it's just, I, I have shades like this and I just never reach for it. So I am going, and it's not an easy brand to purchase. You can purchase it, I think, on Amazon. So while I do like it, I like the formula. It's very sheer. It's very similar to shade to the other ones that I have, so I am going to declutter this one as well. And then we'll look at this one from Zoeva. This is this is natural aesthetic. Zoeva, I think I got this in a subscription box. Pretty color, good formula, good solid formula, but I don't even know where you can buy it anymore. I don't even know if this is available. They used to be an Ulta, they're not anymore. Very similar shade. It's very similar to the stuff that I have. I am going to declutter this one. Uh, I have this one from Fenty Beauty. This is the Stunna Lip Paint and uncuffed. Again, I think I got this one in a subscription box. I don't think I've ever worn it to be honest and I don't even know if it's still available. It feels very nice, but the shade is not for me. It's too dark. I don't wear it. So I am going to declutter this one as well. 
Okay, so we're gonna move on to some of these over here. This is one from Alter Ego. They did send me this one in TR with one of their palettes. I really like the formula, I just don't like the shade, and therefore I never really wear it. Again, it's a very thin formula, very comfortable. This is the shade Crush, I think it is, and um, really nice formula. I just don't wear it, I just don't wear that shade, so I am going to declutter this one from Alter Ego. And then I have this one from Ola Neon. This is the Easy Sal. I got this in, I wanna say an Ipsy. I haven't been a member of Ipsy for a while, so you can tell how long I've had this one. Um, this one is actually pretty good. I really like the thin, um, the little thin applicator, but again, it's just really dark. I don't go for those shades very often, and if I do, I have the formulas like the Charlotte Tilbury that I use, so going to declutter this one. And then we'll go to this one from NARS. This is the Power Matte Lip Pigment, and I have the shade Le Freak. I believe I purchased this one during the 21 Days of Beauty. This is normally $30. I got it for $15. So I wanted to try the formula. So it's that very light shade. Um, you know, I picked it online. I like it. It's pretty, probably a little light um, for me, but I can definitely mix it with a gloss to make it a little darker. So I am keeping this one from NARS. It's actually fairly new to me as well. Okay, next we have this one from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit High Shine Liquid Lipstick, and it is in the shade Send Nudes. Um, can't rem I don't even remember the last time I wore this one. Um, I remember it last, and it's definitely a really pretty color, but I cannot remember the last time I wore this. I like the color. Um, I'm gonna declutter it just because I pretty much don't wear it, and I just never reach for it. So this one is from KKW. This was Trooper. This was one of the last things that came out um, in the line before it was uh, discontinued. So this is the shade Trooper. This was like the army themed collection she had. Really pretty, but again, the brand doesn't exist anymore. I never reach for it, gonna declutter it. Then we have, um, well then we have, let's look. Let's look at these three that are red. I'm gonna declutter all these. This is from Rare Beauty. This is Inspire. Uh, I'll just kind of swatch it so you can see it, but it's obviously a mini and I am never wearing that, so I am definitely decluttering this. And then I have this one from Smashbox. I can't see what it says. I've had this for a while. I don't even remember where I got it. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter that. And then I have this one from Stila. This is the shade Tesoro. It is still available. I actually, the formula is really good. This one I've had for a while, so it's definitely expired. The formula is really good, but again, I just don't wear red, so I don't know why I have so many red lipsticks if I don't wear red. And then I have these three that are all nude and I am running out of arm space. So I have this one from Revolution Beauty. This is the shade Brunch. I just did declutter the lip liner, so I am going to declutter this one. I think I got it in a, a kit and I really don't like the shade. So going to declutter that one. And then I have this one from Kylie Beauty. Again, I can't remember what this one is, but I did declutter the lip liner. And again, I hated this formula, absolutely hated it drying on the lips. I didn't really understand the lip kits. And yeah, definitely decluttering this one. And then this is from Gerard Cosmetics. I did not even know I had anything from Gerard Cosmetics. Uh, this is Bare It All. I must have gotten this in an Ipsy. The shade is actually really pretty, so I'm considering keeping this one. It is kind of on the small side, so I am kind of contemplating on whether or not I'm going to keep this one. But uh, we'll, I'm gonna do a final count and decide whether or not I keep it. Okay, so here we have my declutter pile and here is my key pile. So as I was putting everything together, I did make a few changes. I am going to keep the one from Gerard. I wanna try it and I haven't really tried it and it's pretty small, so it's one. It's about the same size as the Sephora one, so it's something that can go easily in the purse and the formula does seem very comfortable. I don't even think I've ever tried it. I am going to declutter this, declutter this one from LYS. This is the one um, at Admired. This came in the kit. I know I'm just never gonna wear it. It's hot pink. It's just not for me. So I can give this to someone who I know will wear this. I'm not. So uh, to keep it, just to keep it, doesn't really make sense. So I am going to declutter this one. So here we have the final turtle. So I'm gonna put this one right here. So we have decluttering 46. 
I am decluttering 46 and keeping 25. So 25 is a lot. It is a lot, but eight of them are uh, Charlotte Tilbury. And you know, a lot of these shades I'm probably just keeping because it is the brand. And these ones from About Face, I would probably will declutter in the near future, at least one of two of them because the shades I know maybe aren't for me, but I'm pretty happy with how I did. I mean, I cut it it's almost two thirds. So I, I did a really good declutter on this one. It wasn't as hard as I thought. I wish I could have gotten down to 20, but I'm happy with 25 and I am very, very happy with this one. So I'm not sure what will be next. Probably lip glosses will come after this, but um, this one I think was successful. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.